In this video, we're going to be taking a close and detailed look at the absolutely stunning Commander God of War LS-03F Optimus Prime. This thing is a masterpiece, and I want to thank my friends at Shozy Store for sending it over to me. You guys should go check them out. I'm going to talk more about them, but they're amazing. They got some good stuff. Let's get into this review. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Alfonso here and welcome back to another video. On this channel, we do a lot of reviews, unboxings, a lot of things involving Transformers toys and the movies. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And hey, at any point, drop a comment in the description below and a like that really supports my channel. I appreciate it. I also want to give a big thanks to Shozy Store for sending this figure out to me. I really appreciate it. These guys are absolutely great. They have a fantastic selection of figures and collectibles and movie props and just... All of the above, it is a one-stop shop for Transformers shopping, so you guys should really go check that out. Before I get into the actual figure of the Commander God of War, I want to do a quick look at the packaging. When I first got this figure, I was absolutely pumped. I was excited when I first got this figure, man. It was great. I just got Optimus Prime. And I... <laughs> I'm about to freaking lose it. I'm so freaking excited! Let's go, baby! Yeah! My big OP is in the building! Dude, this is Black Mamba, baby! Dude, shows his store. Y'all are the freaking best. Alright, now back to the review. <laughs> yeah, so as you can see, I was really excited, and rightfully so. So here is the packaging. It comes in this gorgeous packaging here. As you can see, you got the beautiful shot of Dark of the Moon Optimus Prime uh, with the cannon and the Energon Blade running into battle and it does have his uh, title there, LS-03F God of War Commander. On the side, it's got a more tighter shot of that uh, of that shot of him in the front running into battle. And on the back, baby, let's go! We got the beautiful shot of him uh, showing what the figure looks like in robot and truck mode and his accessories. And that is just absolutely great. Of course, it is a window box, so when you do open it, it reveals the figure inside, of course I have him here, and it does reveal another shot of him there. So the packaging is absolutely fantastic, it's amazing, but you, it, it's nothing compared to the figure itself. Let's move into the actual figure. <laughs> He's here. This is Optimus. This is Optimus Prime, Commander Class, God of War. Dark of the Moon version, LS-03F, and I just, I can't, I, this, <laughs> we're gonna go into the details, uh, we're gonna start with the accessories, cause he comes with a lot of fantastic accessories. So I'll start with these Energon hooks, this is what he obviously used in Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, it has beautiful etchings and just a beautiful mold all around, it even has like this rugged texture. And uh, you got like gold, like kind of like a gold translucent uh, design on the exterior and on the interior. You got that nice silver uh, metallic design. Really does bring it out. He does obviously come with two for both uh, both arms, and I I absolutely love these. And then he comes with the knuckle dusters that the previous LS03 Optimus Prime, which is a Revenge of the Fallen version, does not come with. So this is the re this is part of the revisions that they made. These knuckle dusters, of course, this is what he used to punch out Shockwave. There you go. And you can just slide that right on top of his fist, and it will enhance the appearance there. And he does come with two of those. And he also comes with the same uh, uh, hand cannon. I keep saying cannon, but it's really a blaster, hand blaster, that the Revenge of the Fallen LS-03 Optimus Prime comes with. It has that really nice shiny paint overall, it's really nice, and it has that black smoky tip for all of the times you have to blast out some Decepticons. Really, really spectacular painting on that. He does come with some additional tires that you can add to his truck mode as well. Uh, these are rubber and they do have a nice uh, detail on them as well. You can see it has the uh, treads and the nice tracking on the tires. My god, this is spectacular. Look at the gorgeous detailing of his Energon 
Blade. You got a nice Cybertroning and uh, Hieroglyphic there in the middle. Nice translucent gold energon like and of course you have that silver metallic paint that kind of enshrouds the edge of it. And of course the handle. The handle is even really well done. You can really see that. He does come with two Energon blades. And of course the same way that you apply the Energon hooks right here, this, this little tab, is the same way you can use it for this as well. You just tap it onto his, uh, there's a spot right here on the forearm that you just slide it right into. And it, it just, it's very, very sturdy. This thing is great! Oh my god! Holy smokes, the Energon Axe with the hieroglyphics on both ends. The nice silver detailing. I like how they didn't keep the entire axe portion uh, gold translucent. They gave you that detailing, that kind of, that metallic detailing that kind of etched into the design there. Nice Cybertronian like and a long, long handle. Boom, shaka, laka, boom. <laughs> One of my favorite. One of my favorite weapons right here, baby. This is the absolutely perfect blaster. Look at this thing, guys. Holy crap. Detailing gold, the, the grays, then the red and blue. Of course, you do have the flames, just like in his truck mode and robot mode, signifying that this is Optimus Prime's blaster. And I love how, unlike a lot of the Hasbro figures, it's not hollow beneath it. It's not like lacking in detail beneath it. You can still see some very awesome detailing all up in here, piping and wiring and all of the great stuff in this hand blaster here. And of course, you know, you got the nice handle. Um, this is actually a LS-03F exclusive. You don't have this on the LS-03. It's part of the Dark of the Moon revision, and I do love it. And it does have LED, this little button here. It's a little white button at the base of the gun here. You just tap it once, boom, and there is the LEDs. Nice, beautiful, and bright LEDs for his cannon. Man, one of the main questions I had that I have for like for myself. This is the big guy. Here we go. Um, I didn't understand why he his his eyes did not light up. There's some other Black Mamba figures. Some other. Uh, uh, MPM remakes that have the LEDs in the eyes and I was wondering why would they not have the LEDs for this guy and I kind of thought of it and that's because of his head and his face actually you can rotate it and interchange the head which is really really spectacular so check this out I'm gonna give you a close look of Optimus Prime kind of point him towards the light there so you can really get the highlights on the detail absolutely fantastic from head to toe Every, it's, it literally looks like I'm holding a CGI replica of Optimus Prime. That is gorgeous. Look at the back. The back is absolutely perfect. Looks just like he did in the actual film. There's no backpack on these guys. Backpacks do not exist for these guys. Uh, so one of the main revisions, as you guys can see in the robot mode of this figure versus the LSO3, is the Cybertronian and abs. The, uh... The Dark of the Moon abs that he had exposed in the film, and in Revenge of the Fallen, it does not have that. The LS03 just kind of has the red panels that covers the ab section, and I personally love the abs. I like the fact that they're exposed. I really do prefer his Dark of the Moon style better than Revenge of the Fallen. For his head, of course, you can change out the head. It does not come with an exterior head. All you do is just lift it up like that, and then just keep lifting it up, and then you'll clear away, it kind of looks like this, you know, and it'll kind of clear away that opportunity. And then there's this spot here, you just rotate it. Just like that. And then you rotate it all around. Boom. And then you bring it back down. Boom. And there you have Optimus Prime. Did I rotate it all the way? There we go, wait, I need to rotate it all the way. You gotta get it even so that it can all the way, boom, just a little bit more. And then I'm going to rotate it down. And there you have Optimus Prime with his face shield on. And I mean absolute detail all around the head, sculpt, everything is fantastic. All of it, just all of it. The whole thing, guys. The whole thing is just great.
this Autobot sizes just a little bit over one foot tall as you can see and from one end to the other it is just about eight inches if you're counting the shoulder pads. It also has a really fantastic range of articulation and the joints that are in this figure that you can articulate they're very strong there there's a lot of ratchet joints involved and there's a lot of poses you can pull off for display options so we're going to go through some articulation right now. We can go ahead and start with the head of course it does swivel uh, left and right um, it doesn't go all around if you have it uh, kind of like angled downwards because there's some panels here that prevent it from going all around. But all you got to do to solve that is pick it up a little bit and you can literally swirl it all around 360 just like that. Coming to the arms, of course, it does come all the way out and it does go all the way up as you can see. Uh, it does kind of prevent um, some movement there because there are some pieces preventing it. But it does go all the way up and down. And of course, you can ratchet all the way around just like that. And of course, it does bend at the elbow about this far. And it does not go any further down than straight down. Uh, his fingers, my gosh. Love the fingers. These three fingers uh, articulate at the same time. But the index finger articulates individually. And then you have the thumb, I'm sorry, I can't have to see it. And then you have the thumb that also articulates by itself, which I think is really awesome. The legs, as you can see, they do go all the way, all the way up like that. It's really tight, so all the way up like that, bends at the knee, and then you can straighten that out. And it does go all the way back, kind of like this. Yeah, about that far is as far as it goes back. So you've got a good range of motion with the legs as well. Now, this is one issue that I have been uh, dealing with and I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. I know that this little panel here, of course you see this little blue thing and it kind of fits into that little slot. You can put it in to kind of lock in the shoulder, but for me, I've been having issues keeping it in. As you can see, it comes out really easily, um, so I have to really be delicate with it, and I don't know if it's something I'm doing wrong, but um, that's one of the things I've been dealing with while uh, transforming the figure and posing it, and of course, while it's holding any of the weapons, it really does put some weight on that arm, and then it kind of pops out of the ratchet. It's interesting because when I first got it, it was this side, and then when I transformed it to the truck and I brought it back to the robot mode, this side is fine and now this side is like a little loose. So it's like, it's probably something I'm doing wrong. I don't think it's a defect, but it's a little annoying because <laughs> it's such a great figure and I want to put him in some poses, but it's kind of hard to do that. <laughs> And there he is, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness, this is the truck mode of Transformers Dark of the Moon Optimus Prime. And I'm just gonna do some close-ups. I it took me a while to really get this guy to, you know, in its transformed state. But this is definitely worth it. I mean, you have beautiful painting all around you even got that nice yellow gradient down here with the flames blue flames here red flames there nice blue uh, midsection of the truck you got the really nice tire covers also with the blue flames and very nice pin striping on the, the flame detail uh turning to the side um the transformation was very uh involving i'll, I'll, I'll definitely say that it was a lot of different steps, but one thing I do like about this figure is that it's very sturdy and it's made of high quality materials. So that basically means that even though like the transformation was like a freaking lot, <laughs> it was able to be, you know, still pleasant. You, you can still enjoy transforming it. It was a lot of steps involved, but you know, everything pretty much tapped into place. I think the, the, the most difficult part of the transformation is when you kind of have everything sort of lined up and you're basically just like trying to squeeze things together to tr try to solidify, uh, you know, each peg connection. Under the truck, it definitely looks still like a normal truck. Like under, I mean, of course, we're going to obviously say, oh yeah, well, that looks like the piece from his robot mode. That looks like his thighs. But if a random person's looking at it, it does kind of resemble just parts of a truck under the truck so it does camouflage very well uh you do have these nice painting on the smokestacks there 
Uh, I like the shiny paint overall on the entire figure, and it does also reflect in robot mode. This is absolutely stunning. And uh, one thing I noticed, I could not believe it, but one thing I noticed while transforming him, just while messing with him, is that inside of his chest, in his spark chamber, there is a matrix. I am not kidding, this is not a drill. Check that out. I'm gonna see if the, the camera can focus. There we go. Look at that. A little matrix of leadership, and it's really sturdy. It looks just like the matrix in Revenge of the Fallen and Dark of the Moon. The matrix that was used to revive Sentinel Prime. Uh, man, the matrix of leadership. They didn't even have to do this, but they definitely did. And I am so glad. Because now, you know, you can store the Matrix inside of his chest, or you can have him holding it, or whatever you want to do with it. Um, also, I do want to say that uh, in some uh, Hasbro figures, there's a way to store the gun on the back of the truck for weapon storage. I am glad that there is a way to store uh, this weapon on the back of the truck. So, basically, the way that it pegs, um, and I'm pretty sure they, they did this intentionally because of the way that it's angled. You see, it's angled kind of at like a... Kind of like on the side so that whenever you insert it straight down it's kind of angled upwards as if it's going to be shooting up so it's almost like they intentionally did that but there's a little peg right here in the center of the truck that little middle one and you simply just peg him right in and it fits like a charm and there you have optimus prime in his truck mode with the weapon stored and i gotta say this is absolutely beautiful my first time uh, transforming a figure that's non-Hasbro and again definitely much involved and uh, I was gonna kind of show you guys how to do it but I was also learning myself so uh, I just wanted to also show you guys the truck because this is gorgeous personally I think it is very movie accurate I think it is very detailed the paint job just screams amazing like it's just fantastic like it's very heavy this figure is heavy it's sturdy. I'm absolutely starstruck by this figure. This is Optimus Prime in his truck mode. Usually I do ratings for Teletrain unboxings, and I don't know if I'm going to be doing it for Teletrain reviews. Um, but I gotta say, 10 out of 10. You know, no, actually, this one breaks the scale. 11 out of 10 is what I rate the Commander God of War LS-03F Optimus Prime uh, from Dark of the Moon. Splendid on every level. I'm gonna put him back into robot mode because I think he looks the best in robot mode and uh, I can't wait to just get more of these Black Mamba and also Shozi Store is where I got this if you guys want to get it. I have a link in the description box below. Really go check them out. I'm serious. You got Gundams, movie props, you got Transformers collectibles like these, third party, fourth party, you name it. It's there. I love it. Well that's all for today guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am going to really display this with pride and I recommend you guys to get this as well this is a must-have um i'm going to display this thing with so much pride you guys have no idea thank you guys for watching my name is alfonso and i will catch you guys in the next review peace out <laughs>